Hello everyone and welcome to my morning report chart and analysis videos with me Richard Perry, market analyst at Hansit Markets on Friday the 21st of July. Now, uh, what we have got today is a fairly mixed market sentiment, very slight air of dollar and negativity coming through. Now we had that huge move on the euro yesterday. Let me show you the market data board um, where the euro burst through its uh, May 2016 high of uh, one dollar sixteen fourteen to um to levels not seen since August 2015. Uh, that was a really strong breakout on the back of the ECB meeting. Um it seemed as though that well Mario Draghi certainly tried to put across an air of uh, dovishness um and tried to be deliberately vague in terms of when they were going to start talking about tapering. But the market pretty much called his bluff and, and um sort of uh, and now um Pricing the euro much stronger, and um, that would suggest that uh, the market is sort of fairly much nailed on for uh, a September beginning to the tapering and um, of asset purchases from the ECB, and um, that has hit the dollar quite hard uh, to the downside. Again, continues to fall away. This uh, wow, this dollar move. Um, we're now back to levels. Uh, well, testing those Q3 2016 levels on the dollar index. Uh, around that 94 level um, and then you're back to sort of the first half of, the, uh, of 2016 so really this dollar um, downside move just continues to accelerate away um, it's interesting that uh, we didn't really see a massive reaction on treasury yields slight um, move lower on treasury yields as this European session has got going but um, generally speaking um, Treasury yields haven't really, I mean, the last few days have been consolidating, but they are still tracking lower, aren't they, on the 10-year. Um, Two-year has been consolidating more, but again, still sort of beginning to sort of track lower once more. And that certainly isn't helping that dollar. Um, but yeah, the um, pretty much across the board on all the major currency pairs, the dollar is weaker, apart from the Aussie, which has seemingly now topped out. Um, and uh, yeah, that's an interesting move. But uh, yeah, the uh, pretty much across the board, the uh, dollar is weaker. And it is also impacting the commodity prices as well. The gold price continues to gain ground uh, solidly above 1240 now, uh, between that 1240 to 1260 range. Uh, oil is again sort of pushing back above that um, 47 level uh, on WTI, uh, pushing back towards 50, which is a resistance on Brent crude. Um, so yeah, some uh, some interesting moves, but uh, the ECB meeting has been a big driver. Now, what we have got today is not a lot, actually, uh, on the economic calendar. We've had uh, UK public sector borrowing slightly higher uh, than expected. Um, but other than that, we've got Canadian inflation this afternoon at 1.30, expected to come back to 1% on that year-on-year -year CPI. So, uh, yeah, on that, not a great deal, really. But uh, my chance today is the FTSE 100. Now, FTSE, um, weaker sterling, uh, which uh, sterling has been falling uh, against the dollar and uh, certainly against the euro yesterday. Um, sterling weakness has been supportive for the FTSE 100. And um, we had a couple of candles in a row, strong gains, and it's actually broken out um, and uh, sort of starting to track higher again. That uh, higher, lower high at uh, 7,480 has been breached, but also the um, 7,447 uh, level which had been a, a bit of a pivot as well that's broken decisively to the upside that sort of reopens these highs again these all-time highs 7561 and uh, 7599 these two levels that we had from May and June seem to be at now be on the um, on the agenda once again look at these MACD lines crossing higher accelerating higher the RSI back above 60 that's uh, RSI above 60 what's that a six-week high um, stochastics also strong, so this is a, a strong move that uh, rallies. Um, sorry, the corrections are getting bought into that uh, 7440 reaction uh, high that had been resistance that becomes supportive um, on the downside. So uh, we've got initial support uh, 7467, um, but certainly looks far more positively configured. The RSI on the hourly finding support up, uh, between 40 and 50 now. Um, 
bit stretched at 69. Maybe room for a little bit of an unwinding move uh, into the um, end of the week. But you'd certainly be uh, looking to buy to strength on the FTSE 100 corrections. Um, and FTSE seems to now be tracking higher as the uh, as Wall Street is sort of pushing out on uh, earnings season into new high ground. So a uh, strong move on FTSE 100 is being seen. So I wish you good luck in your trading today and I'll speak to you again later. Thank you.